we gonna have a thing sports politics where we have our own version of sports politics every week and we gonna uh, intertwine into that right now Kyrie Irving Kyrie Kyrie Irving Kyrie. big interview on uh, ESPN first take um, where he getting that Max telling yeah, me stupid yeah. ass setting the record straight yeah, man. you know what I'm saying and and well, yeah, so talk to me. What's how? What you thinking? Well, how you feel about that? I, I feel I feel Kyrie came there real subtle and and, and 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 did his thing. I have no problem at all with Kyrie sitting in that interview. Ah yeah, I they, gained they, a they huge respect for him. They, they trying to, they, he's the man answering his question, and they still trying to give an opinion on what like the man just and like don't try to twist the man words. Like why it have to be about what you want it to be about? I didn't know if it was uh, the Kyrie or the LeBron interview. I mean, <laughs> he. I mean. Kyrie better than me, man. Big salute to his Kyrie patience. Kyrie better than me. Uh, you passed the patience test. Where, what was it? Uh, remember what MTV still had that show, and if, like, you went 60 seconds, they what paid you, like, $100. Yeah, what, was, um, I, I don't, what was the name of that show, man? <laughs> I forgot, but I, I, I forgot, like, yeah. the tool and all that. Yeah, if you, they would be doing something <laughs> to you to make you tight. It might be, like, have, like, a fart machine. They stand next to you with the fart machine, and if you went 60 right. seconds, they gave you $100. Kyrie had the patience of life because that was the what's up with you and LeBron drama and it was just it was just oh I, I was mad for him it was just getting like nauseating watching that and like I said with the sports politics if, if you just let me rant real quick for two minutes while we going intertwine I, I don't know what's happening right now with sports media and sources right this is this is where it's, it's, it's messing it up for a viewer, for a fan, for the athletes, right? So we're going to use Kyrie example as an example. You got all these reports about Kyrie leaving because LeBron asked to get him traded for Chris Paul, him and LeBron beefing, this, that, and the third. And Kyrie set the, the record straight. It's like, no, I... I want to be my own man. I want my own legacy. I want my own energy or whatever. And they still try to twist it around. He's telling you right. He's sitting down at the desk and they still trying to twist it. And you still you like what the like. And then the crazy thing you said about the sources, like like speaking of that, one of Stephen A. sources said that LeBron wanted to fight him or put hand. Like, are you kidding? Come on, man. Like, are you kidding me, man? And it it it's it's just it's getting out of hand now. So like like you were saying to piggyback on like. This like when we just gonna use Stephen A. It's it's all it's ninety percent of yeah. it now, and that's what Kyrie was saying in his interview. It's minimal truth now. It's like you have a Stephen A. who's considered to sports viewers as a you know one of these sports gods yeah, on TV. Echelon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah upper echelon. That's even way better term. Uh, and you you report like my sources tell me. One of LeBron's closest friends said LeBron, if Kyrie was in front of him, he would he want to punch him in his face or whatever. Let's think about this logically, right? <laughs> LeBron at the time was on vacation. I don't know where. I don't feel like looking it up. Whatever. LeBron's on vacation. I don't know how many people LeBron roll with. I'm going to just estimate, let's say five, not including his wife and kids, right? Let's just say five, Maverick and all or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, his other homie. Mm -hmm. Let's just say a trainer, a chef. You know what I'm saying? So you telling me LeBron is in a room with five people. He say that one of the five of them go in their phone. They on vacation out the country. Go to their phone. Holla at Stephen A. Yo, LeBron just said, like LeBron ain't going to do them like Nino Brown in New Jack City. <laughs> Put everybody in front of him with the all black and go, yo, who leak? It's only five of y'all I said it to. <laughs> And, like, he ain't going to be, come on. That's not, and LeBron denounced it himself. Like, bro, I'm on vacation. Who's your sources? I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm amazed how, like, like you said, how Stephen A is the upper echelon <coughs> for, um this many years. All those credentials and actually reported some shit like that. Reported, like, LeBron. Like, are you kidding me, man? It is getting out of control. It's getting ridiculous. And that's why you see players at like the caliber of Kyrie's level coming on sport talk shows mm -hmm. and giving in depth interviews like that, it hasn't been like that. Cause before. they, yeah, they want to set the record straight. Like that. MJ never did like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those, those are the stars I was going to when I was a kid. When I was, it was never like that. And I understand social media is a lot, and I understand they have way more access to to get their words out. But it's never been like this. Now you got the man coming on right before a training camp start, 
to, to, to squash all this, to get his but point out, and because all these sources, because you get out of hand, man. Because you got a player feels like <coughs> now I got to come on here and set the record straight because, and like Kyrie was very was articulating very well. I want to do something for me, a positive thing for me, start my own legacy. You know, just to paraphrase. Or, uh, and y'all turn this into a negative thing of me and LeBron, one man out of a 16-man roster, out of a coaching staff of I don't know how many, a GM, or owner, one man, y'all want to make it something negative of a beef. And instead of a positive situation of me just wanting to change my environment, play for a great legacy like the Celtics. And then he's telling them this. And then the following question. So Kyrie, there was you you didn't want to play with LeBron. Is, it, you, is that what I like? Come on, man. And so it, that's why these players feel like they have to come on here now and defend because if you go on and I fall victim to it and I know it's the gaffle, but if you go on, you get a these we just talking about alerts on the phone. Uh you get fifty alerts from all these high uh sports media outlets saying these reports, sources say, yada, yada, yada. Sources say, and they all conflict, they all contradict. And so Mm -hmm. you know it's false. So these players feel like I have to now shoot down all these reports because 95% of it is false. Who are these sources close to me? Uh, Close uh, sources. They probably talking to uh, (laughs) an AAU coach when they was 13, (laughs) the the assistant. (laughs) They're, they're, they're not talking to nobody, and 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 to flip it, and not to say if if you, you know, people have these sources and they constantly keep giving you this foo foo, because you'll have one source that say he going left, the other one have a source that going right. Cut that source off after that. Let if 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 y'all, I think it's a bunch of lying because I think unfortunately we just in a, a era of clickbait. You just yep. got it and and headlines, so we got to click it, and so we put sources. And I'm a person with credentials. It's, I gotta be uh, telling the truth, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you got credentials. It's valid. Yeah, oh, wow, that's crazy. Man. Everybody want to run today's pitching and today's pains and going crazy. But at the end of the day, who the hell can knock Kyrie to Casino Casino Land at the end of the tunnel? LeBron's not staying in Cleveland. LeBron's not staying in Cleveland. I think he's staying. But oh, he's that's not another. He's, he's not staying in Cleveland. And what was it? Is this last year? It will be this year. Yeah, this is last year. He's not staying the in there. The, the team is built around LeBron. LeBron get out of there. Um, Cleveland gonna be trash. I'm out of there. I'm looking out for my career. I'm 25, still in my prom. Think go to West. Another team wanna come up? Nah, he 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 on Boston. Who LeBron? Yeah. I, I, at first I didn't believe it, but. I don't know. I, I don't want to look into all that speculation because I don't know. I don't know shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. But we all know LeBron's son is playing ball. He, he's one. He's he's up there. He's elite. And they up there, and then they um him and his wife went to the um high school in LA. I was like, oh wow. I I, I oh, also wow. and we will definitely now. That's um well. Let's write this down. We're gonna get more into depth for that. Yeah. But I think LeBron is great at trolling. He's one of those people who know how to feed into the sources. This this new age of. You know, so he knows how to. Uh, unfortunately, all these players now with brand, they always gotta have their name in the headlines. Yeah. It's like in the off season, I still gotta be a headline. So they know how to feed into. If I go, he knows if I'm LeBron James and I go looking for schools in L.A. Somebody Ooh, gonna report yeah. that. Somebody gonna that before I even get back on the plane to go. And I, well, not even because he got the house there, but before I even go to my next workout or something, that's gonna be. On the headliner, so you know. I, see now, I, I feel don't, crazy. I feel LeBron got me. Nah, he's there. he's great with that. I see he's, how, oh, how my old Savannah nah, there. Nah, LeBron is. Going down. He he knows how to kind of you know reverse it in a way. LeBron LeBron is oh man, he's to me, and we'll get into all that later. Yeah, LeBron definitely. media savvy and and just yeah he grew he's, up in he, it. yeah he's he a genius he's at the all that. Superstar and the crew business ever. So he definitely he definitely he, 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 he's he, the best at it. And so to to, to wrap up. The, the sports politics version and then we you know get into your pick of the week the reason why it's a problem for me is because what's about to happen I feel like is players about to not do press conferences no more they about to not do interviews no more because you a person can it, it's become now that reporters journalists uh, TV, sports anchors they ask a question then they answer the question in the question. Then they give you what your opinion is supposed to be on in the, the question. That's amazing. That's how, how that, that's that's so crazy to me. 
That's so crazy. And so when you have like a Marshawn Marshawn Lynch, what I love what he did at Oakland dancing, that was every that was classic. So that was class. Was monumental. (laughs) So when you have a a a, a Marshawn Marshawn Lynch, and he doesn't want to talk to the media, I understand because it's like. It don't matter what I say, y'all gonna do whatever story y'all wanna do, y'all gonna twist my words, y'all gonna find something negative. Whatever it is, it's gonna be a negative thing. And I think players soon is not gonna, they gonna, I don't know if they could do it in the uh, player contract nah. unions or whatever, but they gonna try to get rid nah, of press conferences nah, they, and they, interviews. I don't think they gonna be able to like take it out completely because that's where the media and all that, that's where the money come from. They gonna fulfill their obligations, the minimal, and yeah. peace out for you later. Cause you see that trend is rising of press conferences and people not really answering questions or yep. I think, and it's because and I and I get it, you know, from from a fan standpoint, I get it because as a fan, after uh, uh, my team loses or wins or whatever, I don't really too much care too much about the press conference anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I or them questions you gonna ask, I know I I watch the game. I know why, and he's about to give you some media answer anyway, so we don't even really need this. And that's why I think it was with like Derek Jeter started uh, with Play the Players Tribune, Tribune yeah. you know, for and and a lot more players have been announcing things on that and things mm-hmm. like that. And they about to take it out of certain people's hands because it's just getting wild of just lies and just headlines. And it's funny you say that because in, in the media see that and like you see like the trend they, they like they, they get nasty mm-hmm. they, they, they attack they, they attacks be like real sounds personal like yeah. they move together like wait a minute you you're a journalist, fam. Do, do, you you supposed to watch the game and why you why you so opinionated about, yeah. about so much personal things that's going on? Yeah. What about the X's and O's? You know, and that's in life like that's it's perfect for us and that's why yeah, exactly. too, that's why we started this because we going back to the actual sports of things because it's uh, if I hear another thing about what you know what a player did off the field and spe- yeah spec I didn't sources I'm a oh man you know yeah. I don't even I I watch uh uh sports center for an hour I I get I get minimal highlights mm-hmm. I might get six games from from that Sunday and it's like what the what happened to all the rest of the... I had to upgrade my sports package because I couldn't get no highlights no more because they want to tell me about Z Case 45 times and yada yada. But we... Uh, sports Center turned into MTV. MTV don't got no music videos no more. Yo, what's crazy <laughs> is when they moved to L.A., I knew it was down here. I just, I just knew it sounded mm-hmm. crazy. But when they moved to L.A. and I saw the new set, you know, I said, oh, no, they're going to Hollywood. This is not... Because us who love that... We didn't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? So they want to do the nice camera angle. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. 